you know, when the first one came out, everyone was going, you know, 3D, you know, how many polygons can you get on screen? So it was a very different thing. Uh, so a lot of people said, you know, the obvious thing for the sequel was to stick it in 3D. And that's the one thing I didn't want to do with it, was there's no point just putting a game in 3D for the sake of it. Originally, I can remember saying, uh, there will never be a 3D Worms game. <laughs> Worms Armageddon was a labor of love a year later than what it was supposed to be. It took its toll on the company. I think, you know, at that time, we were running out of money. We spent so much money as well. Um, and so we were struggling financially. Well, I mean, we wanted to do Worms Free. When Worms launched, we moved from a publisher developer to a developer. You're then in a different world. And there was always a lot of pressure on 2D games, you know, especially when everybody was talking about 3D games and everything else that was coming. Whenever we were pitching a game to anybody, it's like, what about Worms 3D? It was one of those things that was deemed as a necessity. 3D was the future, obviously everybody knew that. Um, but Worms essentially was, was very much a 2D game and it was hard for people to conceive of it. It seemed a natural progression, but Worms is a game where you destroy the landscape. So we needed to create a 3D game where you could destroy the landscape. That's not trivial, especially not back then with the power of computers back then. Worms is uh, making tunnels. It's floating bits of land in the air. So we tried to recreate that. We had some very good programmers who worked out a way of doing this fairly fast. So we did eventually get Worms 3D being actually something viable we could do. It was a bit later we sort of discovered the big flaw with Worms 3D. The game is so intrinsically a 2D game in terms of how it ga gauging, uh, gauging your weapons, uh, the chain reactions that happen. We were before our time in many ways on that particular game because uh, People weren't used to playing in 3D, um, and it, it's, it's much harder to gauge a trajectory of a, a thrown item. Obviously, you've got 360 directions that, say, a bouncing grenade can go, whereas in the 2D game, it can kind of go left or right and down hills, so it nearly always end up going towards or away from a worm. Well, when you're in 3D, if you miss, that grenade has many, many more areas it can go to that, that aren't entertaining, that there's nothing there. That's enough to break the gods! Lobbing a grenade, you're never 100% sure where that damn thing is going to go. Um, and and that, that was quite a leap for most players to, to get over that one. Have you even held a sword before? Well, you'll be able to recreate some of that in 3D. Um, you're never going to be able to create all of it, just um, in, in the same way, just, just one worm being knocked into another worm, a very key part of worms, is not very likely to happen in 3D. A fair amount of work got put in to make some of the, when something bounced, to see could it adjust the angle a little bit to move it more towards another worm. Uh, it was very hard to get the game working in such a way that you'd get these happy accidents because there's so many more places an object could go that wouldn't be near anything else and would just be boring and that's one of the most important things is that everything should there should be a, a entertaining facet to it it seems like an odd thing to, to say in, in this day and age, but you, you've got to remember that, that 3D was incredibly new and, and people were having a hard enough time navigating um, moving 3D in a, in a screen without being nauseous back then. You're in 3D, you've, you've got the whole problem of how do you find where the other worms are. In a 2D one, you just scroll the map sideways. Uh, in a 3D one, they could be in a tunnel somewhere that you're not going to be able to see because you don't have some side-on you know, slice of you know, slice of the view. So it, it made it harder to target other worms. It made it harder to judge distance. In my heart, it, worms will always be 2D. And I, I think it works best as a 2D game. But having said that, I will defend that 100%. I genuinely think it was one of the best versions of worms. It, it was really, really good fun once you got used to it. But it was quite a steep learning curve and I can understand that. <laughs> If 
if a game's good, if a game's enjoyable, if a game's fun, um, whether it's 3D versus 2D, things like this. So at the end of the day, that's what matters.